We were looking at those showers and storms coming on in across the area, and we had that huge clap of thunder that came earlier this morning, around 10 o'clock, and many of you from the entire metro area kind of saying, hey, this was crazy. I heard it, and this kind of rumbled and rumbled and rumbled and rumbled, and you know, usually you hear a quick little clap of thunder, and it's over, but what happened is when you get your bolt of lightning out there, it expands the air as it comes down. Remember, a bolt of lightning is 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit, so when it comes on, it expands the air, and of course, that causes the thunder that you hear. Well, the thunder also travels in waves, sound waves, right? Well, that is it moves through each time you hear it goes up and down, up and down, up and down. Sometimes if it expands the air enough, like the bolt of lightning did earlier today, you hear that rumble that'll last for like 10 seconds and 20 seconds and 30 seconds. And some of you said even about a minute long. So that's kind of what we had out there earlier from that lightning bolt that came on down here across the city. So for some of you that felt it really, really rumbling your buildings and how there's just a little bit of a rumble, that's why depending how close you were to where it actually came down made a big difference. And this one was not too far away from the mid city area when it came down earlier this morning. Now, right now, not much in the way of thunder and lightning, just some light rain showers in town. 76 degrees dew point in the upper 60 is actually not bad at all. Lunchtime temperature 76 degrees in June. Yeah, that's pretty nice. You know, it's been raining out there. Everybody in the 70s from 75 in Slidell, which got a well over two inches of rain today. Buris about 72 with some heavy rain there. Same for the Homa area. And you can see the bulk of the rain down along the coastline. That's really preventing most of the rain north of the area from forming because the suddenly winds are in place, kind of just fueling this rain versus coming up all the way across the north shores. Now, wait, if this rain wasn't here, we'd probably see a lot more developing north of the lake. But right now, just some scattering of showers down here again. Pretty good rain has fallen across much of the area from Homa back to Cocodry, Galliano area, Grand Isle, Port Fouchon. Look at some of these rain totals today. Uh, two inches in Chauvet, not too far away, over five inches of rain there, just uh, kind of south of the Galliano area, over five inches of rain, four inches in Grand Isle, over four inches in Port Fouchon. So we've seen some flooding issues down here because of the heavy rain. In town, we have not picked up near as much rain. We're just looking at some light rain showers falling across the area now through downtown. So if you're going out to lunch, have your umbrella and maybe your rain boots with you as well. And North of Lake, just some light rain up here too. Mandeville, Covington, Folsom area back toward Picayune. Nothing significant as of right now, but this is all part of a disturbance coming in here from the west. Combine that with the daytime heating that's suddenly wind in place, and we have all that rain developing. That disturbance upper level low spinning over Houston, sparking off some big thunderstorms over their area right now, and that gradually will work its way into our area the next couple of days. So we're going to have some wet weather for a while. Right now you can see here we still have a level one out of five marginal risk for some gusty winds and some hail out there for the day today too. And rain totals you can see just 0.71 at the airport at MSY, about six tenths of an inch at Lakefront Airport downtown as well. Not much in Bogalusa, but over two inches in Slide L. That was basically from about four o'clock to six o'clock this morning. Most of that fell. As we go forward throughout the day, the rain will taper off after three o'clock and temperatures actually will warm up by the end of the afternoon hours before uh, we're all said and done. So there's some of the showers we'll see here. By four o'clock, they kind of taper off a little bit. 10 o'clock tonight, not much rain. Tomorrow morning, looking pretty quiet as well until some showers will pop up late morning and here's by one o'clock in the afternoon. We'll do it again, but it's going to take a little longer for these to form tomorrow. They'll continue through four o'clock and then still have some storms here by 730 in the evening before they get out of here and we are waking up with more stormy weather on Wednesday morning and we'll see some more scattered storms Wednesday afternoon as well too. Now rain totals the next couple days, maybe two to four inches north of the lake, three to five south of the lake, so we need to be aware we could see some pretty good downpours. Nothing really to worry about in the tropics. One feature up here staying out at sea, 20% chance of development, so we don't need to worry about that. But we're waiting for all that Saharan dust, which looks like it arrives starting on Wednesday and continues on into the weekend. That'll make for some very hazy weather for us and some great pictures of the sun rays. I've seen some pictures out of the Caribbean looking very dusty out there as well, too. So heavy rain and storms, about 100% chance today, and we'll see again the chance of rain decreasing this weekend with the hazy conditions. We'll be back right after this.